As you guys know, there's so many options for vegans at Trader Joe's, and these are just some of the items that I picked up recently. Can't do without this sauce. I'm so serious. I cannot do without it. I buy it at least once a week. That's not why I'm here today. Uh, but today is not about all these items. It's about this. Yes, that's right. The spicy pumpkin curry that I will be cooking with today. And I am so excited. I love curry. I love pumpkin. Um, you already know if you've been to Trader Joe's over the past few weeks, it's pumpkin central in there. So I'm really excited to see what I can do with this. And you know this meal is going to definitely be vegan, dairy-free, whatever you want to call it. I'm excited. Let's get started. different part of my house today just because I felt like it but in reality this is still my living room but I figured like why not have something a little more exciting anyway hi everybody welcome back to my channel you're watching life with Chris and on this channel I like to make self-love and self-care a hot hobby and thank you to all of you who have subscribed and showed me so much love through Instagram through the comments and so on. It means the world to me and I am so happy that I'm able to put out these videos that make you smile, that encourage you, and to motivate you to be the best you that you could possibly be. So, with that being said, today I want to do something not so much different, but something that I haven't done in a while, which is show you guys a recipe that I wanna mess with today. Trader Joe's is pumpkin land right now and they have a new vegan curry simmer sauce that I wanna try today and really give you guys the actual review live on camera. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do today um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So before I get started, um, some of you have asked for a video that discussed like my eating habits and just like what I eat in general to lose weight and don't worry, that video is on the way, I promise. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna show you the ingredients. So I'm really trying to get my veggies in and what's a better way to get your veggies in than sneaking in veggies into things that are heavily flavored. So I have um, cauliflower, which usually always goes pretty well with like Indian and curry style dishes. I have some chopped spinach. Um, again, you know, it is what it is. Trader Joe's has this new gluten-free vegan um, allergy friendly pie shell, so I'm using that. And then of course, the star of the show, spicy pumpkin curry. I have an onion, and then I also am supposed to have a can of chickpeas. Like where the heck, sorry that's so messy in here. And some chickpeas, how could I forget? Like we always have to make sure we have our chickpeas, a lot of protein, a lot of other great benefits. So oh, let's get started. Yay. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. All right, so I'm just gonna add some in. Oh my God, look at that thick consistency. Oh my God, that smells really good. I don't know if I'm gonna need all of it, so I just kinda poured what I needed. And I'm just gonna let that kinda hang out there. Okay, so this is my first time actually working with like a vegan gluten-free crust. And originally I had put the crust out for 20 minutes to thaw and then it like started breaking. So I put it back into the, um, whatever you call it, the freezer, just so it can harden up a little bit. Seems to be okay now. I'm hoping it's not gonna break apart, but I guess you guys will see if I do fail on camera. So the crust already came with um, a tin foil thing on the bottom. So I'm just gonna use that just to like save my sanity, um, but I'm just gonna fill in the stuff into here. And guys, it smells so good in here, oh my God. I'm pouring some extra curry sauce on this. Oh my God, here we go with the jar. It just looks like it eats, ooh, look at that, yeah. Put that extra. 
your curry sauce in there. Now it's looking all right. Okay, so I'm like trying to, oop. Okay, so these like to break a lot, okay? Like, that's facts. They like to break. So just know that if you're using this, that it likes to break. I might just actually just roll it out and then figure it out. Okay, so this is literally where we're at with it. I mean, look at that. What the hell just happened? I'm just gonna roll it out again and then attempt to lay it on top of the pie, okay? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The gluten-free crust was a little hard to work with, um, probably for obvious reasons, but I mean, I tried freezing it again. I tried doing a whole bunch of different things and it's just not kind of cooperating with me. I don't know if this is normal. I don't know, but I'm just gonna make it work. All right, so here we go. It's going into the oven. Okay, so I'm ready to take it out of the oven. All right, so this is what it's looking like right now. All right, it's all right. You know, I can't complain, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so here's the moment of truth. That's what it looks like. And uh, I did let it hang for a little bit just so it can, you know, let the flavors kind of settle in. And um, yes, I ate some of the crust. I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Um, but yeah, here's the moment of truth. I'm just gonna cut into it. All right, okay, it's a little bit crusty. So that's good. And I'm gonna see what it's gonna look like. All right. So here it is, it's still very warm. It is kind of falling apart. And that is a-okay. All right, this is what it looks like. It kind of fell apart. Mm -hmm. I really, really like the curry. The curry is so good. I know they mentioned that it's spicy, but it's not that spicy to me. I don't know. Maybe if I put a little bit more salt. Okay, there goes the spice. Okay. The spice is definitely there. It's really good. And honestly, the crust isn't too bad. It's definitely crusty. Um, yeah, I'd make this again. This might be one of those holiday staples. So, at the end of the day, put whatever veggies that you want. Like I said, I put spinach, I put chickpeas, which is in the veggie, um, some cauliflower in there and some white onion, simmered it in the sauce, and then put it in the oven for about 25 minutes. And this is what was the outcome and honestly the crust isn't too bad i thought like you know when i was kind of maneuvering it that it was going to have a problem but it ended up being great so i definitely make this again again this is what i use the spicy pumpkin curry simmer sauce from trader joe's make sure you go and cop some all right peace i'll see you later back on this channel life with chris have a great evening